Hello and welcome to this Top Down Engine tutorial. I'm Renaud from Our Mountains and today we're going to talk about UI, so user interface in the context of the Top Down Engine. So while it is primarily focused on gameplay, you know, shooting stuff at enemies, um, the Top Down Engine of course includes GUI elements to uh, communicate with the player. So whether it's uh, how much ammo is left in that corner or how much health I still have, or uh, looking at the pose screen, or maybe uh, even if I die at some point, even that, that death screen, all that is UI. Same goes for the mobile controls. So there's a bunch of that that you need to be aware of and that you need to know where to make changes if you want. This video covers all that. So in all scenes, all the demo scenes, you'll find uh, a camera prefab. And it contains two things, mostly. A main camera, that is uh, the camera that is filming your scene, which is controlled by a, vi a virtual cinemation camera, usually. And there's also a UI camera, that is what we're going to focus on today. Uh, you'll want to switch to 2D to do UI stuff most of the time. And you'll see it contains an inventory canvas that displays all the info uh, related to the inventory, so what weapon is currently equipped and what uh, your backpack contains and so on. We are not going to focus on that today. The, there is a, an inventory documentation and inventory engine tutorials and stuff. Oh, I suggest you look at it if you want more info on that. Today we're going to focus on the rest of, of the UI, which is uh, contained in this canvas um, over there. And uh, in it you'll find an FPS counter, always useful. You'll find a HUD, and the HUD is made of uh, a health bar and an image for your avatar. It's quite simple, um, but that way you can easily change you know, the look of things. Then we have um, mobile buttons, so arrows, and you also find buttons over there, a joystick, right here. All that is controlled by the input manager. Uh, the input manager is positioned on the UI camera right here. Um, again, there is a dedicated input tutorial and documentation. Uh, go check it out if you want more info on that. What's important to notice is that at the UI camera level, we also have a GUI manager. And this class is responsible for binding all its contents so it can be accessed by uh, other classes. For example, the input manager will tell uh, somehow via events the UI manager to display buttons, display arrows, display the joystick, and all that binding is done right here. Um, next, we also have a post splash and a death splash. So the post splash looks like this. You can uh, activate it if you want to make changes to it. So maybe you don't want to uh, the post splash to say pause and you can just uh, go there and say uh, tutorial and now it says tutorial um, and you can make all sorts of changes here you can add more buttons you can remove some if you want uh, you can change completely the look of it that's uh, that's entirely fine that's what it's for same goes for the death splash right here uh, and the, the menus of the death splash, the post splash, they uh, also use some custom classes, namely uh, the MM touch button, so it's part of uh, nice touch. And this allows for simple setup, cross-platform functionality. Uh, it works on mobile, it works on PC, it works with the gamepad, it works on console. Uh, it's just a nice way of setting things up. The inspector for these is quite simple. Uh, here you have the binding, so you can bind events from other classes. So for example, the restart level, you can see that it's going to target uh, a class that is on this very game object, which is right here, level selector and it's going to call its reload level method. So every time I release, I press that button and I release it, uh, I will call reload level. I could change that to go to level for, um, you know, if I wanted to. I could add more items here. Uh, here I have a sprite swap. So uh, if I want, I could change the, sw the sprite used for displaying the button. Uh, I can change a bunch of settings, have an animation. So in this case, I have an animator for it and uh, it's going to 
you know animate the button every time I, I click on it and here I can set settings for uh, when the button is highlighted pressed and so on so a uh, useful uh, helper class for buttons the last UI tidbit I'd like to show you today are the health bars so um, in the top-down engine I provide you with a lot of ways to hurt people and enemies in general so um, it's always useful to have a nice health bar system to display how much damage you're inflicting to others or how much damage you're taking so um, in to to uh, help with that I created a mm health bar component that is right here so uh, it will be set up I think by default on most enemies uh, otherwise you can simply add it and the way it works is uh, it's going to automatically bind itself to the health component so you don't have anything to do you just add it uh, here you can decide whether or not you want it to be drawn uh, automatically by the system so you don't have to put a prefab or anything or you can decide that it's prefab based in which case you'll have to uh, provide a health bar uh, a progress bar uh, prefab to it and it's going to be instantiated and and you know automatically filled and updated um, I like to go with the drawn one it gives a nice uh, you know simple look uh, easy to to read I think and it's easier to set up as well so uh, here you can decide on the size uh, color so let's say I want to change that foreground color to something else maybe blue because it's a blue ninja and I'm gonna say okay uh, if I'm in good health I'm gonna go with a deeper blue like that the delayed color is um, a secondary bar that is displayed to show you like the aftermath of a hit uh, then we have the border color uh, I'm gonna switch that to white on both sides like so and then we have a background color and I also want that background color to be bluish now so I'm gonna change it like that uh, and almost there all right um, then we have a bunch of things like the sorting layer name I recommend above uh, we have a delay that is going to be applied to the delayed bar uh, a bunch of other settings for whether or not we want to lerp uh, each bar or have it directly you know uh, disappear we can have a bump uh, so the the whole health bar is going to bump uh, in scale and uh, by default you'll find this nice curve so you see that it goes from scale one goes a bit down goes massively up to 130 goes down uh, let's make it bump much more so we zoom out and we say okay bump to 1.7 or so and we close that um, you can decide to have that health bar follow the target and in this case you can also decide at which update it should move let's stick to late update uh, you can decide to have something instantiated on death uh, here is the offset so by default it's gonna uh, attach to well um, the your, your transform so uh, it would be right here but of course we don't want to have our health bar in the fit of four characters so we apply an offset and in, in this case it's 2.5 in this direction uh, we can have it always visible or only display on hit and for a certain duration so you can see it's quite complex I'm gonna have it always visible like that and if I press play uh, you see that I now have a blue bar above my character and it only applies to that character because I didn't like uh, apply the prefab changes and so on I could also uh, change not at runtime but I could decide that 2.5 is maybe a bit too high so I would say uh, maybe 1.8 and I can change that offset and now it's much closer to the character and you can see that now when I shoot at, at this guy uh, he gets 
hit, you see the orange delayed bar. Well, now he's dead. Let's do that again. Try to uh, apply this damage. See, so you get the orange bar and then uh, you can see now the background color behind it. Orange bar, boom. And you're dead. So yeah, uh, lots of UI elements here and there in the engine. Uh, hopefully you'll find them useful and they will help you make a better game. Uh, I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.